It's important that uh, everyone knows I'm so much more than the bad things that yes. happen to me. Yes. Yes. Hi. What's your name? My name is Tyler. First of all, I love your shoes so much. Thank you. <laughs> How old are you, Tyler? I'm 11 years old. So it looks like you have the violin. When did you yes. start playing violin? Well, I started playing the violin when I was seven and a half. And what made you get into playing violin? Um, I wanted to start playing the violin because I was being bullied in school. Oh. Oh, man. It's because I had cancer. I almost died. The doctors came in and said, yeah, he does have cancer. And, uh... It was the worst day of my life. They used to make fun of me and laugh at me because I was different. They would spread rumors to say that um, my cancer was contagious and they all wanted to stay away from me. One day, Tyler saw a flyer at his school and it said, after school program, free violin lessons. I just didn't want to be the kid with cancer. So now I'm the kid who plays the violin. You got this. We're rooting for you. By the way, before I start, how are you feeling now? I'm feeling really proud of myself. Oh. I think you have such an amazing talent, such a personality, and I would like to say something on your behalf to the bullies. Buddy Cody is back, and his wonderful mom, <laughs> Tina. How are you both? We're good, thank you. Um, uh, Tina, his mom, played me a song he'd written, and I loved this song. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. And, uh, you know, you're going to hear, I think, a very, very different Cody from what we're used to. Good luck. <laughs> Talk is cheap, but words cut deep. Take a stand or fight in hand in hand, hide behind your lies and go to skies. It starts with you and I to keep the love alive. You gotta change what you say. 
golden buzzer tonight and stolen one of your teams who were very happy to be on my team. So Cody, if I had that second buzzer, I would be buzzing it right now. Yes. Send you straight through to the final round. Oh my God. Well done, Cody, you're a legend. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. It's a different vibe that you're giving us and I'm liking it. Love the song, love you and that was Perfection. Thank you. <laughs> Howie, I also am upset that I don't have a golden buzzer tonight because I would want to steal you so badly. <laughs> and tonight to hear what you can write. I, I don't think there's going to be a problem with this audience choosing one of the five. I think that's already just made their choice right now. That was amazing. <laughs> you know, Cody, you continually surprise us in a positive way. For you to come back and write yes. a song and perform a song which sounds current yeah. and relevant. And you performed it with such passion. Um, it shows what a great, great, great artist and person you are. And I'm very proud to have you on my team. Thank you, Thank you so much. What's your name? My name's Jane. When I sing, I go by Nightbird. Oh, that's nice. Nightbird? That's right. What are you going to be singing for us tonight? I'm singing an original song called It's Okay. Um, I have not been working for quite a few years. I've been dealing with cancer. Last time I checked, I had some cancer in my lungs, my spine, and my liver. So you're not okay? Uh, well, not in every way, no. It's important that uh, everyone knows I'm so much more than the bad things that yes. happen to me. Yes. Yes. All right. Sing for us. Good luck. I moved to California in the summertime. I changed my name thinking that it would change my mind. I was a stick of dynamite and it just was a matter of time, yeah.
your voice is stunning. Mm -hmm. It is. Absolutely stunning. And I, I totally agree with what Howie said, you know, about authenticity. Oh, you know. <sighs> you can't wait until life isn't hard anymore before you decide to be happy. I'm not going to give you a yes. I'm going to give you something else. chance of survival, but 2% is not 0%. 2% is something. Welcome to AGT. Hi. Thank you. What's your name? My name is Zion Clark. And uh, how old are you? I'm 25. And where are you from? I'm from Canton, Ohio. Okay. Today, I am going to show you what it means to have the feeling of no excuses running through your body. Yes, no excuses. You're amazing. Yeah. The stage is yours. Go ahead, buddy. Absolutely. All right. Wow. My name originally was Zion Zachariah Daniels. That's the name my birth mother gave me. I don't know my birth parents. And I don't know why they named me Zion, but I know that it's a mountain mentioned in the Bible. It's where people supposedly went to protect themselves from the evils of the world. I know about the evils of this world. I survived for 16 years in the foster care system. I was abused physically and mentally by those who were supposed to protect and nurture me. Society said I would never amount to anything. But I chose to walk on my two hands instead of the wheelchair they put me in. I chose to represent the Team USA wrestling team. And every time I lost a match, I got back up again and became an all-American wrestler. I chose to join Pro MMA, where I won my first fight against an able-bodied opponent. I chose to earn three Guinness World Records for the fastest man on two hands. highest box jump and the most diamond push-ups. I chose a life of no excuses. A tremendous grip. Life is gonna try to make you fold. But when you choose to climb that huge mountain, overcome the obstacles put in your way, Carve your own path in order to reach the summit. You will reach the top. My name is Zion, and I made it here to America's Got Talent to show the world that anything is possible. You are absolutely incredible. I'm so happy that you came to audition. I'm so happy that we met, and I have to say that you're very, very handsome too. Very. But you know what I love? It's your smile. I mean, from the moment you arrive, you look like you're so happy, you know? And so many, so many times we, we think our world and our life are hard, but I mean, I can't imagine what it's have been to you. And still here you come with a smile. Thank you for coming to AGT. Thank you. You know, we use the word amazing a lot, but I think it really applies to who you are. And I want everybody to watch you, to know you, to just, you need to be, you are very, very, very important. Simon? Well, I am so happy you came on our show. You have no idea. Because you have such an incredible personality. You defined the word inspiration, 
I listened to everything you said. How you've come through this with this attitude is remarkable. And honestly, for me, this is what this show absolutely is all about, which is meeting talented people who you're going to remember and you're going to make a difference. And I applaud you. Amazing. One day when the glory comes, I'd like to start off. I want to give you your first yes. 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 I do. I want to give you a second yes. Sophia? Three yeses. Simon? I'm not going to give you four yeses. I'm going to give you four million yeses. It feels amazing, man. It's, it's, it's my life's work, you know, to go out there and inspire people. Um, my name's Amanda. Hi, Amanda. And, and how old are you, Amanda? Um, uh, uh, I'm 19 years old. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Connecticut. Okay, and what are you going to be doing for us tonight? Uh, as you could probably tell, uh, I have a bit of a speech impediment. Um, and uh, it was definitely something that caused me to, um, to shy away uh, and to hide. Uh, but I found that I, that I don't stutter when I sing. Oh, wow. Is it going to be a song we know? Is it an original? Uh, I will be singing uh, a song that I wrote, and it's just about some hard times. Uh, and if I could go back and change those things, I wouldn't, because they made me me. Well, I cannot wait to hear Good luck. I hope she's good. Come on. I still remember that kid afraid to open the door. Now she's grown and she doesn't keep that fear anymore It was kept in a box and it locked and she held the key But now the box is locked and the key is nowhere to be seen Oh my gosh But what if I could go back in time and change the way I felt about my life Oh, but then would I Still have inside Everything That brought me back to life I still remember that kid Wanting to be more now she knows that she's worth more than what she's been told She tried her best to be best and just forget the rest But the rest is the best and it's what you get So just let go But what if I could go back in time and change the way I felt about my life Oh, but then would I Still have inside Everything That brought me to
I, I see you're really emotional. What are you, what are you thinking? It's just crazy. I couldn't... There were times when I was a kid where I was like... Like, I can never do anything like this. Like, I'm not good enough. It's not only good, it's great. Thank you for having the gods to follow your heart. It's terrifying auditioning when you don't have an issue like that. And then you were amazing. I mean, your voice is so pure, so beautiful. And also, you're a good songwriter. And I think you're an incredible person. I'm so happy you came here. I would love to give you your first yes. Every single should Or yes. Tell me how this uh, choir came up. What was the idea behind it, please? Uh, we're here to let the world know that we have some wonderful young people in the city of Detroit. And yes. Good luck. Victoria Bueno. Hi, Victoria. And how old are you? I'm 18. And where are you from? I'm from Brazil. From Brazil. <laughs> and tell me a little bit about your story. Eu nasci sem os braços e minha mãe só soube quando no meu nascimento, na hora do meu parto. And she was born without her arms. Eu comecei a dançar com cinco anos através de uma que percebeu a minha paixão pela dança nas well, when she was little, her mother brought her to my mother dance studio, so she started to dance, and since then we are like a family. Oh wait, so you're not only your interpreter, your no, mother was a... I am her dance teacher. Oh wow.
I'm so happy that you came all this way, that we here in America get to see you. You're beautiful. And yes. you, know, you have so much poise, so much elegance when you dance. It was so beautiful to watch, and thank you for that. Thank you so much. That was beautiful. Well, you know, Victoria, first of all, I believe the sign of a star is someone who perseveres and then when they're on stage, lights up the stage. And you have both of those things. You have this glow about Thank you, Victoria. You so much. And when you were performing in here, you, it was like complete silence because we were mesmerized. And I think the whole of Brazil and now the whole of America is going to be rooting for you. You are an all star. Yes. Thank you so much. You know, I don't know anything technical about dancing, but I know to be on point, not having arms makes it that much harder to balance. And we didn't even see uh, a second of faltering. It's amazing the, the amount of strength yes. and elegance that you put in. You just made it really hard for the super fans. They can only choose one act tonight. And I wish you best of luck. Thank you so much. I'm 50 some. Okay. What do you do for a living? I've been singing in the subway for roughly 37 years. 37? That's, that's a good thing. If you don't mind me asking this question, tell me what was the low point? The low point is on a Monday or a Tuesday, you don't make that much. But people get paid on Thursday and Friday and they make up for it. Okay, it makes sense. Tell me why you decided to enter America's Got Talent. Well, you know, success is what you make it, right? But there's no better stage, there's no better place to be than right here. You know? That's a nice thing to say. Okay, well, good luck. At times, it sounded a little bit rough around the edges, but I didn't mind it because I can feel that really every word that you sang really meant something, you know, and I think that is also very, very important. Thank you. Oh, my. 
my God. I, I gotta I gotta say, whatever Heidi is referring to as the roughness is what I love that enveloped me. You know, you made every word so simple, so count. If this show can give you the next level of fame, I'm telling you, the train has left the building. You are on the next level. Well, I want to be honest. Look, you do have a great, incredible voice. Having said that, there is a difference in somebody singing on the subway to somebody singing on the stage of America's Got Talent. There is that gap that you have to bridge. I just don't think you're quite there, if you understand what I mean. You know what's ironic here, Mike? I was listening to something that Mel was playing during the break, which was a piece of auto-tuned junk. And this is the real deal. Yeah! Hello. Who are you guys? We are the Freedom Singers. So why did you give yourself the title, the Freedom Singers? We're located not far from here in a community called Skid Row. Right? Skid Row is in the heart of downtown Los Angeles, where five people per day die on the streets, houseless people. And so for us, freedom singing brings us close together. Is that medium that we've always used to come together as America. Me and my mother, we were both houseless on Skid Row, which is, um, it was very traumatizing going through the loss and being out there in the elements and especially with the city officials coming and taking away all of our personal belongings and leaving us there with nothing. Um, I'm so blessed that I found the Los Angeles Community Action Network because they gave me a voice and an opportunity to rebuild myself. And through them, we are housed, my mother and I. Uh, why America's Got Talent? So we represent a lot of things. Some people who were houseless, maybe who have come to transitional housing, some who have lost folks um, that are houseless. And so when we see someone on the street, I want to encourage you not to look the other way. Thank you for sharing all of that with us. We're rooting for you already. Good luck to you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. together harmonize so beautiful and I want to thank you <sighs> I want to thank you so much for what you do for the community for what you do for so many people I am completely touched right now and I just thank you for being here you and my brothers and sisters okay never forget that God bless you go celebrate four yeses you deserve it the headlines of your life so we know a little bit more about you before we start. Sure, so obviously I have a uh, disability. 
Um, I think the technical term for it is being very handsome. <laughs> Where would you like to be? Do you want to see yourself as a Turing act, TV, or Vegas? When I was growing up, there was nobody that looked like me on television, so I kind of want to be the first one that's doing all that. I want people to be able to look at what I'm doing. Good. All right, well, good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. So I love being a stand-up comedian. This is what I always wanted to do. Uh, I have had other jobs in the past, though. Uh, I used to juggle chainsaws. <laughs> it went well for a while. Uh, I had to get out, couldn't take the politics, is what it was. <laughs> the other thing I wanted to be was a pro wrestler. Um, that's the absolute truth. Uh, I had a name picked out and everything. I was gonna be the cripple threat. That was, oh, that was clever. But people will ask me dumb questions all the time. I'll get this one a lot. They'll be like, hey, Ryan, is that genetic? <laughs> yes, uh, because you see, my mom was Irish and my dad was a lobster. <laughs> Kids are the worst, though. Oh, kids are the absolute worst, though, because kids don't have that filter. You know, if a kid says you're ugly, you're ugly. All right, deal with it. <laughs> Buy a hat. I don't know what to tell you. I had this eight-year-old girl recently uh, come up to me, and if you're ever feeling pretty good about yourself, let an eight-year-old girl verbally kick you in the nuts. That'll fix that for you. <laughs> uh, but this little girl, after she saw me, and after she screamed, after screamed, it was a big scream, uh, which, side note, has led me to a new game that I play, uh, now when I'm out in public and I see a child staring at my arms, I like to pretend that I'm discovering them for the first time, too. <laughs> You're like, what are you? Oh, my God! What <laughs> and that's why I'm not allowed at Toys R Us anymore, so... I'm Ryan Nemo, you guys. Thank you so much. I think you are amazing. I, I'm just curious, why have you not had the break you're looking for yet? I think part of it is having a disability like this. It's really hard to kind of break through without people thinking you're a novelty act. Uh, I've had the booker tell me, ah, oh, well, I don't think this is what we like. This isn't what the people want here, so. He's the one with the disability, not you, trust me. Yeah, that's why you're here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. You are brilliant, you are real, you are authentic, you are funny, you are a star. There is not a room that you should not be allowed to play in, and I believe that you should be in the finals here. I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. You're freaking funny and I just want more. I want to know your next tour date. I'm going to be your roadie. You're brilliant. Thank you. I mean, literally everything about you just screams, I am awesome, I am funny, I am the real deal. Get him with a dance. Howie, yes or no? Yes. Two yeses. <laughs> yeah, got three yeses. Thank you. Uh, I actually know how many people are in this theatre, so you have 4,104 yeses. <laughs> binoculars actually work? Well, my hand binoculars, they're just to cut out the light. So sometimes if they're up in the air and I can't see them well, I cut the light like this. I do have glasses, but I'm too vain Let's see to this. wear them. <laughs> so I have glasses. Yeah. <laughs> hey, can you see now? Is that, is, with, with no, the... it's all good. It's all nice and fuzzy. No, this no is I, you might want to wear them when you're judging. That's for real. 
<laughs> see eyewear. See, I don't know if I look so good in glasses. I, yeah, anyway. I now, know. Sophia, after Aaron flirted with you on the show last night, we got a lot of questions asking what you're looking for in a partner. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Well, I think what every girl wants, someone... I am taken. <laughs> Someone healthy, yeah. someone handsome, someone that um, has a great sense of humor. I'm married! <laughs> someone that is happy with himself, that's it. Okay, okay. I'm married! Oh, he's married, oh, he's married, all right. Terry, Terry, Terry. Uh, I have a, um, someone here who, um, on the internet, David Vaughn, he wants to know, Terry, I need you to do a spin around for me so I can admire that suit. Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Well, there check it out. It is. I, I have one too. Uh, Nicole from Ohio has made a shocking observation. Take a look. What is it? What? <laughs> oh, no! Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> Nicole. Simon, what do you think of that, man? Nicole, oh. that is spot on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. Look, as we all know by now, very occasionally, the judges disagree on something. Sophia. You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition. And I really want to know what Simon thinks. Simon, did he win you over? I think I helped you. No. I do. I really, really do. I think magic that, Simon. no, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! No. <laughs> Howie! Now, Howie, last night you were brutally honest, and that didn't sit well with a lot of people online. Right. Oh. Right. How do you respond to that? Um, I'm not responding to them. You but, should apologize. But, you know what? The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid, to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you right. sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> And also, I'm, I'm translating. She said, grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, Sophia, a lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, well, first of all, we have different tastes. And we, we all have the same taste. Some of them don't know what they... <laughs> what they what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> How is grumpy sometimes and Simon is sometimes loco, so it's there's nothing. Well, I admit it. I do admit it. I like the live shows best because yes. we, don't, I, we have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> like, nothing. I don't even know who's on the show tonight. And, you know, we could have taped this show, you know, like two hours ago. And it, being live makes a huge, huge difference. Yay! And by the way, I was thinking that, you know, the million, the million dollars is cool, but I think winning the show is much, much more important now. <laughs> I believe You know, because I've seen what it can do to people's careers. If you do well on this show, in my opinion, you do well in the real world. That's it, I agree. 100%, my pecs agree with you, Simon. Well, I'm happy. My pecs agree too. Yes, thank you. My pecs too. <laughs> now guys, are you ready to do this? Yeah. <laughs> Last night, we asked you at home to comment online about the show and the judges. Well, this was my favorite. Check this out. <laughs> Heidi, what do you think of this? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> we do look like that. Ketchup? I and told mustard. you we did, and you didn't pay attention. <laughs> fine. We look yellow and red goes well together. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Howie, did you have a good time last night? I had the time of my life. I had the time of my life, and I loved reading all of your comments. Somebody was amazed at the sacrifice that Big Bird had to do for her dress. <laughs> Amazing. Your oh, dress. man.
Okay, he's brutal. He is brutal. Look, thank you, judges. Do you think your puppet looks like you? <laughs> right. There, there it is right there. <laughs> I mean, I, th- I really think I have better eyes. She has a better mouth, but, and, and, and her voice wasn't that great. Oh, okay. Now, look, Simon and Sophia, you both exed each other's puppets last night. What's yeah. going on? What? Did you hear her sing? <laughs> Did you hear yourself talk? Yes. Oh, wow. Whoa. Wow. All right, shots fired. Okay. Uh, now, Howie, were you upset there was no puppet Howie? No, I yes. never. Uh, no, yes. I never want to be a puppet. I love the idea of being able to speak without a hand up my backside. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait, wait. If you had a puppet, what would its talent be? What would it? What? What, 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 is, what would your puppet do? It's ventriloquism. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. So if you could be a part of any of the acts from the finals, which one would you perform with? Uh, well, I already did. I was part of a Hurricane and Adrian's uh, act, and I would do it again if they want me. Oh, it was great. Now, Simon, Elizabeth from Texas wants to know what was your favorite moment from this season? Elizabeth. Elizabeth from Texas. Hello, Elizabeth, wherever you are. Um, two moments, actually. One, when I got my voice back, because I had the worst person to talk for me. And secondly, I'm going to be honest with you, T, it was last night. The whole two hours, for me, was a moment. Because everyone was brilliant. I agree. One of my favorite finals. It was just so incredible to watch each act. I mean, every one of you, amazing. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you, judges. Password is magic. Did you just look? No, not at the... Are you guys talking? No. (laughs) Freak. Magic. Yes! 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 Magic is the correct (laughs) word. That is cheating. Who heard him tell me the word? That's cheating. That you were cheating already. (laughs) They're cheating because they heard you cheating. All right, this is the final clue. clue. We are actually tied at the moment, (laughs) and we are going to start with Howie. The password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. (laughs) Million. Oh! He's right! Thank you very much. I want to say this from, from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show, and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance, and most importantly, your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Terry. Hey, it's out on Sunset Boulevard. OK, let's take a look. Here we go. Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four, three, two, one. (laughs) (laughs) What? Is that real? Yeah. 